This is a Poke Press Special Report. Okay, so uh, Tom, another question. You do uh, directing of uh, the other voice actors in the TV show as well. Uh, what is basically involved with that? What are your responsibilities? Uh, well, when you do stuff like this, and I'm sure you have the same experience, uh, you know, there's no rehearsal, anything like that. It's like you show up at the studio, it's like, here's the script, get in the booth. You know? <laughs> um, but I will give them as much setup as possible. Uh, as for the regulars, you know, the traveling party, Ash and whoever his sidekicks are right now, it's Clement, Bonnie, and Serena. Um, you know, they know their characters. They know them in and out because they've been playing them for a while. But I'll just give them the setup. I'm like, okay, remember last time? You guys were just uh, at this gym. Ash had just won his gym battle, but now you're headed on to the next place. And on the way there, you run into this thing, blah, blah. And I just sort of give them the setup and then just let them go. Because it is, in a way, sort of a micromanaging process because you go one cue at a time because you have to sync. But you don't want to have to micromanage the direction too much. I just like to kind of lay out, this is what is happening, you know? and then let them be the character and put themselves in that situation. You have to get a little more specific sometimes with guest characters who are just getting dropped in. But again, it's a thing that it's like, this is who you are, this is what you know, and this is what you do, and then let the actor do their thing. And then just nudge them gently. Sometimes the direction you end up giving is technical stuff. You know, slow down, or let's add a word to make it fit the flap better. But I mean, Pretty much, I want to give the actors as much freedom as I can within the confines of the ADR system. So, there you go. And uh, are there any particular people you've worked with as a, uh, a voice director that you really stand out that were some of your favorites? Uh, the guy I mentioned before, Mark Thompson, is one of the most talented voice actors I've ever worked with. And he's a great actor, too. I mean, he's, you know, he saw, did stuff on Broadway. and. You know, he went to NYU. He, we, he and I were there at the same time. I didn't know him back then. Um, <clears throat> but uh, he's got an incredible range. He's a fantastic actor. He's great instincts. And, uh, you know, and he's super easy to work with. So, like, you know, he's somebody that is a standout for me. And the one thing I have to recommend, if you want to learn about Mark Thompson's talent, uh, go get a Star Wars audiobook. He narrates all the Star Wars audiobooks, and he's amazing. So... So he's a stand-up. There are so many people, <clears throat> people that I work with now and have worked with over the years that I couldn't really just, you know, it would take forever to highlight all the people who are great. But, like, the cast I have right now, I love them, you know. Sarah has been playing Ash for, like, ten years now. She's fantastic. And uh, Haven, who plays Serena, like, she's, she has Broadway credit. She's fantastic. Uh, Allie Rosenfeld, who's playing Bonnie, is, she's one of my kids, as I refer to them, because I sort of got her into this business uh, when she was just, just out of college. We were doing an ESL, which is English as a Second Language. We were doing an ESL thing together, and I heard her voice, and I was like, wow, man, she sounds really good. And, you know, I talked to her, I'm like, do you ever do any animation stuff? She's like, no. And I'm like, yeah, you got to come and audition and work with me. And she's been getting parts like crazy. Um, I mean, she's doing all this commercial work now, and she's on stage in New York City. But, like, she's somebody that I'm very, very proud of, you know, because, like, I, I feel like she's sort of like one of my kids in that sense. And uh, the guy who plays Clement, Mike Licio, he's from Avenue Q, which gives him, like, great comedic timing, great improvisational skills. So lots of good talent in New York. This has been a Poke Press special report.